I always do that, don't I, in Indian Trace? Sort of take that clearing breath before I start to film. Welcome. I'm at uh, Mecca, but I'm gonna take a swath of cotton here and go right on through. I call it uh, Guilford Strait because there's names within names here at Mecca because I know the land and I know that a 50 yard wide and 100 yard long swath is what I call Guilford Strait. I have one in the ground up here that I started to mess around with because it had a little chaff stick. What's a chaff stick? Well, this is because it was uh, uh, beans, old, old beans. That's what you're looking at here and the chaff of it. It's been biodegraded, it's biodegraded enough to provide dirt. Plenty of dirt when this cotton here got slit seeded into it or split, whichever one you want to call it. Anyway, I saw this one in the ground, pulled that little stick out, and I know it's a point. Don't know how complete or full, and, and I know Guilford's enough to see that it was a, one that had potential to be a Guilford. I had a couple people on online, and don't mind mentioning them by name. I mean, Frank, appreciate it. Hope you're feeling okay when you get to this, and uh, I'm doing a little bit of a join the hunt for you. Remember out there. Now I've seen some people find some fantastic stuff and it's pretty funny. And it's pretty cool how we see, uh, if, you, if you watch artifact videos, and I do because TV's a, a waste for the greatest part nowadays. I mean, whatever the world happened to Laverne and Shirley, huh? <laughs> and people are saying, what? Whatever happened to t shows like Taxi? Are you kidding me? You know how many stars came from shows like that? Taxi was cranking. I mean, great show. And I mean, uh, decent for you too. I'll leave that aside. Anyway, here in Guilford Strait, uh, shout out to Frank. He said, I love Join the Hunts. And so I turned and I looked and I said, and I'm going to show you a couple more points that I found right in the, in the dirt, in the heavy, heavy press. I saw this point that I messed with right here. Because there's the stick. I pulled the stick right out. And then this point right here was showing course this you saw it but it's a lot of uh, quartz of course and then uh, I stood up to look around and I looked and I said oh my goodness and very quickly I stepped across here and I said are you kidding a double that happens could happen in any step and I looked over here and I figured ah uh, you know that's sometimes you do and I flipped it out and I said oh my goodness that is a point they make those heavy case uh, Morrow Mountains here Here's a shout out, promised to somebody who took advantage of uh, sort of a, an opportunity or a giveaway. I got a lot of these, like this one I just pulled out of the ground here, that uh, for Eastern North Carolina, you can go ahead and start formulating a collection. I don't mind sending them to you, you remember. Go back about seven videos or so, you'll find out the details of just a little bit of postage and handling. And, uh, little collector's fee and really it is because uh, you guys know what kind of efforts. Oh, I was going to say something about the people who collect out here before we check this thing out. That can be a Guilford. Its edge is looking nice. Look at their old peanuts as well. And uh, you know, Brooksy and uh, Richard are finding just incredible stuff and they team up a lot and then their videos contrast. I like it. It's unique. Everybody's got to do what they need to do to represent this stuff. And look at these two pieces underneath this cotton plant. Very nice, right? So don't let things like split seating. If I can get a good angle on this shot. Don't let them uh, ruin your parade. Because there is stuff out there. And if you're in the right location, it's uh, strong stuff. Everybody does their best where they are to find what they can. Some people cannot. Just don't have the opportunity. That's a great point, isn't it? Mercy and courts. 
So what I do is I step in and try to bridge the gap where you guys can come out and hunt, check this stuff out, find, not just hunt. My shout out here as I find this is to uh, a little guy, four years old, named Archer. He loves this stuff. From here to California. And all the way out in California. I'm glad you uh, look at the look at the point, Archer. That's what you want. That's what everybody out here wants. And Archer right there, that right there is a Guilford Yuma. Little fella at four years old, all the way out in California, loves Indian Trace. See, it's not about me. Many of you on Indian Trace know that, so manually share the links, really. Share it with your friends, whatever. Let them see some of this stuff in reality. It's a nice Guilford made out of rhyolite. And that piece you found right there with the shout out to you, Archer. Well, it seems like your parents are going to take advantage of something. Maybe get some more artifacts for you and for your game. That's a nice piece right there. That is a nice Guilford. But I don't know, you know, it's just you take it one one step at a time and one day at a time. Appreciate you tuning in to Indian Trace, everybody. Archer, you're going to get old enough soon enough where you can find some of this stuff for yourself. Now, I can't speak for California. God help you. It comes to antiquities laws, but uh, that aside, I hope everyone out there finds. Appreciate you all turning in. Indian Trace.